What is happening guys? It's your boy Johnny here and today it is time for me to bring you episode number five in the Werder Bremen career mode series. Now first thing is first, if you go on to enjoy the video do not hesitate to slap a like on it and also smash that subscribe button. Anyway, enough promotion, let's get into the actual content of the episode itself and it turns out it's going to be another tricky one. Wolfsburg, that is going to be vital. They are two points behind us at the moment. We cannot afford to slip up at all. Frankfurt, they're flying up near the top of the league as well. And yeah, FC Bayern goes without saying. We might have a bit of light relief against Arminia, but the way we've been playing against the lower teams recently, you know, it doesn't fill me with confidence. If any of you missed the last episode, go back and check it. But we... Uh, we got one point out of like five games. It was ridiculous. Um, and I'm really struggling to score at the moment. So we're hoping that our team can just, you know, pull their socks up and get the business done today. And first off, I have had a comment, which does make a lot of sense. They suggested that I go to Gravenberg and Eggestein's development plan. And we're going to put CDM in their positions and then we can change them back afterwards if that floats our boat. But we need to take those exclamation marks away because they play worse when they're like that. Here we go, Eggestein, CDM, Perfecto. Now we should be ready to hop into this first game against Wolfsburg, which is going to be vital. If we can get the win, we can, we can bridge the gap on them to five points, which would be a really nice cushion. Because we have let, we did have a quite nice cushion and we absolutely threw it into the dustbin last episode. So we need to we need to rebuild from this point. We're still in seventh. Have a really good chance of Europa League. I would love to get Europa League next season. That is my target, I think. It might be optimistic, but what is life if you can't be optimistic? And yeah, our team is full strength. Let's get going. We are at the Vesa Stadion once again. We seem to play here quite often. That's because it's our home stadium. And Vauerfell Wolfsburg are not going to be an easy opposition by any means. But we need the win. We need the win. We need three points on the board. We cannot be sacrificing points willy-nilly to our opposition. So, let's get the ball rolling. Ooh, top, top rack gets the interception in. Selassie is going to have to deal with Edouard. Is that the one from uh, um, from Celtic? Well, they did sell Veghorst to um, Leipzig, so that makes sense, but wow. Oh, Bittencourt just dives over the ball, but he wins it back for us. Now can we counter? Please, get this to Sergeant. Oh, you've got to run, Sergeant. Oh, Rashid, sir, that pass was just... It, it was just an incy bit too much, and now... We've thrown away a really good opportunity, but we need to defend here. We need to defend. We need to defend. <laughs> Zeva puts us behind. We are really struggling at the moment in this career mode. I cannot put my finger on it. But we're going to bounce back, boys, aren't we? That is how, how we respond. When the going gets tough. Yeah, I just usually go to bed, to be honest. Fair dues. Our job has just got away. Away harder. Away harder? That, that sounds like it's Newcastle language, Geordie accents, but whatever. We're going to keep going here. We're going to keep fighting till the very last. And that was awful. Okay, now get this to Mayna. Come on, Mayna, you've got to get this. Yes, please. Mayna, keep going. Show some strength. Cross it in. Cross it in towards Sergeant. Oh, but Castiles gets there. Lima now, he gets it out wide to Barekalo, who finds Edward on the inside. We're going to have to defend again. We, we, we're getting a bit more of a hold in the game though, but Stefan out on this right-hand side is going to find himself back on the ball here. Oh dear, oh dear, Selassie, that was a superb little block. Oh, we're under siege, come on boys. Bodies on the line here. We are not going to concede before half time. It's just not going to happen. Nianzu gets the block away. Uh oh. We're inviting pressure onto ourselves again. Top rack, get this out to Augustinson. 
who gets it to Rashisa. Up to Eggestein. That was rather beautiful, I must say. We get it to Sergeant now, who's running forward. Who gets it to Rashitsa? Who gets it out to Bittencore? Come on, just cross it in. Just cross it in. Towards Rashitsa, but why did he stop his run? He was in such a good position, then just decided, you know what, son? I need a drink. Hmm. Okie dokie. Come on, Augustinson. Swing us in a nice one towards top rack. Oh. Oh. Get this out. To oh, oh, but. Why? Come on. Apparently, we've just given away a foul. They get it over the top to Mali, who's offside. We need to make changes. This is ridiculous. Absolutely shambolic. We haven't even had a shot on target. Um, we're going 4 4 2. Rashid San Sergeant up top. Bittencourt. Thanks, but no thanks. You, you've been good in one game for us all season. That's pretty much it. <sighs> Who else can we bring on? Maybe instead of Chong, we'll bring on Selka. <clears throat> And we'll put Rashitsa on this right-hand side. Who else can we bring on? Maybe Agu for Selassie. And yeah, no one else really floats my boat, to be honest. Our bench is not the strongest you'll ever find. Gravenberg gets it to Nianzu. Oh, what was that? I was pressing the pass button. No, no guys, come on. This is so frustrating. I was powering up the pass button and then they just cheekily, I mean, who do they think they are? They just popped in, pinched the ball, and now we have no chance. Literally, oh, Nianzu, I should take the blame. That was awful. They're just getting into my head, guys. I can't concentrate. What is going on at the moment? We can't buy a win, not even for a gazillion euros. We just, we just can't. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Get this to Selka. Oh. Oh, Grafenberg. Grafenberg, please. Oh, can we get back into the game? Come on, pick up the ball, son. Let's get back to the centre line. Such a great finish there from our young Dutch international. Oh, my days. Such a good... Oh, look at that back heel from Selka. Let, let's not get carried away. Come on, we've still got a job to do here. If only we could have had this a bit earlier in the game. Get this through to Selka, to Agu. Come on, Agu, cross it in. Towards Sergeant. Oh, they get the clearance in. And their clearance goes straight to Xavier. Selka wins it back for us, though. Oh, we're passing well here. But, no, we're not. Oh, that's offside. That's offside. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Tackle. Give us one more chance, please. They're just not going to give it to us, are they? Come on, let them cross. Just cross it, son. Stop wasting our time. Come on. Move it. Oh, we can't do it now. Just let them score again. Why not? Why not? Nah, get, get me out of here. Get me out of this stupid match. Absolutely ridiculous. Shambolic. One shot on target. We need to examine ourselves. Oh. Just no, just get me out of here. Oh, all right, guys, I've had a few minutes to chill down now and I'm still frustrated, but we're just going to have to move on, aren't we? Um, Velkovic isn't very happy. Oh, sorry, son, but not much I can do about that. Um, we got a new youth report. Maybe we can cheer ourselves up with a really nice young youth player with loads of potential. Um, anyone here? No, no one's really floating my boat. Oh, maybe Koenig will sign him up. And Schmidt will leave for another update. Guys, to coin a phrase, if it's broke, then fix the hell out of it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We are going for a 5-2-1-2. Yeah, we'll give that a go. Sergeant and Rashitsa up top, up top, sorry. We might just slide Mayna in there. Where is he? I think he could be decent at cam, to be fair. Great. Gravenberg and Eggestein can go in midfield, and we will start Velkovic. Bittencourt can come here instead of Osako. We'll need another centre-back on the bench. Who have we got here? 
Um, Friedel, there we go. I'm gonna bring Agu on instead of Selassie because he's got a bit more pace. And then which of these center backs is the tallest? Six foot two, six foot two, six foot one. Which one has the best weak foot? Top rack, so he'll go on the left. So, actually, we might go to tactics now, and our defensive style will be pressure on heavy touch. And offensive style, oh, long ball, I'm not, are we going to go balanced? We'll have nice width, players in box will get a bit more. Hopefully, you know, this can do bits for us, because the 4-2-3-1 has been absolutely shredding us to smithereens in the last few matches. So guys, here is the team for the game against Frankfurt. Their team is slightly mouthwatering, can't lie to you, especially with Jovic there up top. But hopefully our new formation can help us do bits here, and hopefully, I'm aiming, can we at least get a point? I would love it, I would love it. Let's go. Wow, Deutsche Bank Park. Very, very, very nice, but we need to not get carried away with the beautiful scenes that we're playing in. We need to get the result. We're in our green kit, which is lovely to see, and we're up against an extremely good Frankfurt side. And wow, we played our way out of defence quite well there. Eggestein gets up to Rashica now, through to Mena. Can Sergeant make a run? Let's get this to Sergeant. Oh, he's through. Come on, finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it! No, I got tackled at the last second. I was praying that he was going to have enough pace to just get away. I should have taken the shot earlier. It's on me, guys, but we started very promisingly to this game. But I need to bear in mind, when you get those chances, you've got to take them because we haven't had many of them in the last while. And Pavlenka made an absolute dog's breakfast of that. Oh, hello, Agu. What was that? That was impressive. Get this back to Eggestein. Come on, Eggstein, get the tackle in. Oh, Kostic seemed to read that slide tackle really well. They get it back to Kostic now. Through to C Silva. And now Kostic is on the ball again. Agu, could, would you mind getting back to do some defending, mate? That would be lovely. <clears throat> and he does, to be fair. And just run away now. Just run away. Just keep going. Oh, no one's catching him. Keep going. Okay, get this infield now. Towards Mena. Get this to Sergeant. Oh, Mena! What was that ball? That was so perfect. All he had to do was just get it through. But now Ruda is on the ball. Come on, collect this Pavlenka. We are playing much better all of a sudden. Okay, up to Rashica. Eggestein! Eggestein gets the shot away. And Trap has to make an amazing save there. He got real power behind that with his left foot. I love to see it. Love to see it. Come on, Augustinson. It's your duty here, my boy, to give a good delivery. And towards top rack as well. Oh, my day is so, so close. We're getting close, guys. We're getting close. Much, much better. You could even argue that we're dominating at the moment, which is unthinkable looking at how we played in the last game. Come on, can we just get the ball back? Oh, okay. There wasn't even any added time, but... I am really pleased with that first half. I just hope, against all hopes, that we just don't get unlucky because we actually deserve to have a goal now. We actually deserve to win, arguably, off that first half performance. But I just feel like it's going to... We're going to concede like a cheeky goal and I'm going to be so raging. So, you know, warning, guys. This, this program probably contains scenes of very angry teenager they get it in now to Jovic who's come deep to get foot on the ball so now gets it back to Jovic Nianzu oh dear oh dear no no FIFA we've been playing so well why have you got to do this to me why it's tormenting me ridic okay at least we've been playing well enough I know we can get a goal now I know I actually feel like we can get a goal so we are just going to focus. Agu, come on, make a run, son. We get it back to Eggestein now. Up to Rashica. Get this to Sergeant. Shoot, Sergeant. Shoot! Yes! Come on, boys. The first goal for what feels like a millennium. Scored by Sergeant. Back on the score sheet since episode number one. And he does a cheeky little celebration to go with it. Love it. Absolutely love it. And suddenly we're level again. And hopefully... We can go on to get get a win. We need a win so badly. 
<clears throat> against Frankfurt as well. That would be an absolute result. Okay, I think we're getting close to substitution time. Come on, Augustinson. Deal with Chandler. Deal with Chandler. Come on. Oh, nearly. Nearly. They get it back to So. Gravenberg tries to get it back now. Chandler now again. Oh, hello. Come on, top rack. Top rack. You've got to deal with this. You've got to deal with this, Velkovic. Thank you. Okay, Sergeant on the ball now. We get it back to Gravenberg. Eggestein now. We get it to Sergeant. Rashica. Eggestein. Back to Rashica. Back to Sergeant. Through to Graven. Oh, he's through. Come on. Come on. Shoot. Score. Score. Yes. Come on. 2 1. Take some of that, Frankfurt. Gravenberg. Thank you. Thank you. Two vital. Well, the last one wasn't very vital, but a vital goal in this episode. His second for the episode. Oh, my word. Come on. We've just got to hold on now. We have just got to hold on. And then we'll have a desperately needed three points. I can't remember the last time we won a game. It is absolutely astounding what our form has been. But maybe, maybe we can just do it here. So guys, we just got a couple changes coming here to shore up our defence. Mayna is coming off and we're dragging the midfield back a bit. So Eras can come on, give us a bit more defensive cover. And Selka, no, no, no. Ge Gebra Selassie, sorry, is coming on for Agu, who had pretty tired legs. And we've just told our fullbacks to chill down a bit and just stay back with the defence. Keep things tight back there. Hopefully that will do enough for us. Selassie wins us the ball back, which is a good start. And we get out to Gravenberg. Come on, Gravenberg. Do we just take it to the corner flag here and waste time? Are we going to be savage like that? Oh, cheeky. Okay, there's now one minute left. One minute left. Okay, we need to get back now. Come on, Eras, get back. One minute, ref. Yes! Come on! We have done it! I should not be this excited for a singular win, but I am. That shows you how desperate I am. We have got three points on the board. Yes! Get in there, son! And we actually deserved it as well. We had more shots, more possession. Boom! Can that goal kickstart Sergeant's season? Absolutely. He needed a boost to his confidence. Such a vital goal as well. Just gave us that extra bit of belief. That plunged us right into the lead before we knew it. And all of a sudden, we have three points on the board. Love it. Absolutely love it. Can you move forward now? I think we can turn things around. Absolutely. We're not doing that badly, all right? We're only in seventh position, okay? Chill down. Chill down. Already wanting to write us off. We'll prove you wrong. Just one goal in it. Are you happy with today's performance? Every player did his job today. So, so true. We were pretty defensively solid apart from that one goal. And the attackers, they won us the game. Let's be honest. Ha ha ha, there we go. We have uh, reclaimed our seventh position. FC Schalke are biting our heels at the moment. Hopefully, Wolfsburg don't win. And they didn't. Get in there. We are holding on to our position. Sixth place. RB Leipzig are quite far ahead of us. But next up, it's not Arminia. I need to, like concentrate it's it's Bielefeld Field Bielefeld sorry um up next at home at the Vezza Stadion we're gonna get into the press conference without a shadow of a doubt hopefully they're gonna ask us some very encouraging questions let us boost the team morale as much as possible they are in 13th they're not doing too badly to be fair hopefully though with our strongest team we can get the result come on we need it we need the result here Come on, I'm putting my faith in the match sim, which is a very risky thing to do. It is very, very much a game of Russian roulette here. We're gonna we're gonna take it all. Or we're gonna be we're gonna be dead before we know it. Uh-oh. Now oh they got it over the top. We need to regain our defensive shape pretty pronto here. Otherwise they're gonna punish us for sure. Come on, come on, come on. And thank goodness I think Nianzu got the block in there. And they swing it in. And they nearly get a clear header, but luckily we had a defender there to block the ball. Oh, uh-oh, and we lose the ball in a very vital position. And is that going to be a corner? Another corner. They swing it in. What's going to happen? We block it again. Not too bad, not too bad, but they've got the ball again. Come on, block it. Block it. Oh, Pavlenka. Pavlenka, you beautiful person. Thank you. Sergeant, Rashica, 
Eggestein, Rashid, sir. Sergeant, Rashid, sir. Rashid, sir, Rashid, sir. Rashid, sir. Oh, it gets tackled. Come on, nearly half time now. We've played pretty well here. I'm not too upset with that so far. But they kick it long. And we win it back. Mayner's on the ball now. He gets it to Eggestein. Back to Gravenberg. Through to Mayner. Come on. Oh, Sergeant! Scores his second goal of the episode. The young American has found his form again. We love to see it. We love to see it. 1-0 now. Can we get another one? Just put this game beyond doubt. That would be lovely. Hopefully, they don't go score straight away. Ruin all our good work. That would be slightly frustrating. But, okay. We win the ball back. Salasi, what's he going to do? He gets it into Eggestein. Through to Grabenberg. Sergeant! Oh, it was offside. I thought we had made it 2-0 there. Into Mena now. Rashid, sir. Sergeant, score. Rashid, sir. Oh, Eggestein. Yes. Come on. We've got the win now. I can breathe. Eggestein has played so well today. He has been on top form. This is where our changes are going to come in. We're going to bring Bittencourt in at Cam. Uh, Selka's going to come in up top. Oops, Bittencourt needs to go back. Who else can we bring? Agu can come in for Selassie. And that will be all our changes. There we go. It remained 2 0. Perfection personified. Six points in two games. We're back in business, lads. And wow. Okay, RB Leipzig must have lost because we're now chomping at their heels with two points. If we win against. Bar well, that's, a, that's a huge if. That if is the size of the Empire State Building. But if we do then wow 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 we could be up into that top six again but Bayern they are going to be no slouches <laughs> that is for sure and oh my days what has happened to our team they're so tired okay so guys I didn't realize our team is so tired from the last game at least we got the win so maybe it will pay out in the end but look at all these changes we've had to make Selka and Osako start up top. Schmidt gets a go in midfield. Agu starts at left wing back. And Friedel comes in for his first match of the season, I think. And Mbom, who is meant to be a centre mid, but it's said he could play at right back, is in because we have no other cover at full back. So if this team get the win, we are going to be the luckiest boys on this planet. We are going to get the win against the Bundesliga Giants. The ultimate Bundesliga Galacticos. It is Bayern Munich here live at the Allianz Arena. And they've got a very good team. And we have got a very weakened team. So the odds are stacked against us. But the underdogs shall triumph here. Pr probably. Oh, Nianzu. Come on. Oh, 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 oh dear. This is, this is too much pressure. This is too much pressure. And Nianzu clears it. All right. Oh, uh oh he's coming inside. I don't like the look of this. And Bomb's going to have to get out to Hernandez now. Clear this. Clear this. Ooh, okay. Okay. Let's start as we mean to go on. Hey, lads. Not much we can do about that. A really juicy cross in from Lucas. Is it Lucas or Teo Hernandez? I can't remember. But whoever it was, you know, Robert Lewandowski doesn't miss a lot. And he definitely doesn't miss when you give it to him on a golden plate with, with chips and rice. Ooh. Oh, oh, Gnabry now on the ball. A familiar face for us. Did he used to play for Bremen? If he did, then I don't know about that. But never mind. Let's just not let Lewandowski score again. And Friedel gets a vital clearance in there. Sergio Busquets now back on the ball. Velkovic gets the tackle in. Apparently he gives the foul away, but they play advantage. Agu... He's going to have to deal with Pavard now on this right-hand side. Na Gnabry. They get it into Kimmich. Nianzu. Pavard now. Pavard. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. 2-0 down already. I think the challenge here is just going to have to be stop stopping making it 6-0. Because our goal difference cannot take a hit. We need to just be careful here. Selka is injured, apparently, which is absolutely brilliant news. Or instead, they're going to get it to Hernandez. Oh, Agu, that was beautiful. Oh, Sergio. Sergio, mate. Come on, give us a chance. Just don't let them score. Don't let them score, Pavlenka. What? What? He got the shot away. No, 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 ref. 
Oh, and a red card. Yeah, top work, son. Top work. He's now suspended. You know, life is, is brilliant. We're living our best lives here in Munich at the moment. Oh, we're going to have to sacrifice someone here because we cannot be playing. <sighs> I guess Bittencore is going to get sacrificed, unfortunately. And Top Rack is going to have to come out of retirement to go back onto the fields. Oh my, come on. He got the shot away. How is that denying a goal scoring opportunity? Like, ref, what school did you go to? Come on. Bottom right. Bottom right. Bottom right. Yes! Come on! Pavlenka, I love you. At least it's still 2 0. At least we're not 3 0 down at half time. How long left till half time out of interest? Five minutes. That's all we've got to survive until we get to go. Oh boy. Oh boy. And Bomb gets the clearance away. Oh, clear at top rack. Clear this, Schmidt. Oh, or not. That's cool. And Friedel clears it instead. Whew. Come on. Our target is to lose no more than 3 0. 3 0. That's the ceiling. That is our mission, should we choose to accept it. Eggestein now gets it into Schmidt, who's going to take the finesse. Oh, not too bad there from the youngster. Oh, I want to see how close this was. Oh, all right, okay. D don't just show us then. Clearly, they don't have enough respect for Schmidt's brilliance. But never mind, they get it over the top now to Komen. Oh, dear. Save, save Pavlenka. And Agu gets the clearance away. Oh, they get it over the top. Komen, we can't catch him. This is ridiculous. Oh, that looked offside. Was it not? Okay, 3-0. We're still within our target, okay? We, we don't want to concede 4-0, but... Oh, my days. When Komen gets down this right-hand side and Bomb gets absolutely nowhere near him. Absolutely nowhere near him. It is actually ridiculous. But Asako seems to hate running forwards for some ridiculous reason. But can he get in the box now? For the cross, oh, he yeah, does actually get on the end of it, to be fair. Sergio now. Busquets gets it through. To Lewandowski, who scores. Oh, well. Okay, it's 4-0 now. Don't let it be 5-0. And that's time. We concede in the last breath of the game. Come on, this, this loss was inevitable. I'm not even that angry, especially considering we played such a weakened team, but... Oh, look at that. That is absolutely... That gives new meaning to the word destruction. They have absolutely destroyed us. But what can you do? What can you do? I think we did the right thing by playing our strongest team there against Bielefeld. Because instead, if we'd played a weaker team, only got a draw and then lost to Bayern anyway, it would have only been four points. But we got six points from those two games. We're still in seventh position. And that's what you love to see. But guys, that wraps up the episode for today. Next time, we are diving straight into the January transfer window. Let me know if you have any suggestions. How much money do we have? 2.21 million. I don't think we need that many wages, though. I think if we adjust that to about 200. We have about 5, 6 million to play with. So if you've got any low-budget players or anyone you want us to sell, maybe we can boost our budget a bit, let me know down in the comments. If you've enjoyed the video, like I said at the beginning, slap a like on it. Also, turn that subscribe button grey, because that would make me go hooray. Anyway, guys, it has been mad fifering with you guys today. Until the very next time.